Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel The and Art. Today let's make a simple drizzy trinket dish and I will be using my mold inserts that I made and I will link the tutorial up where up somewhere up then where uh, on how I made these so you can see. So what I'm doing here is I am choosing the one that I want to use. Both of them are same but some both of them have different heights. So I was just selecting the one that fits properly. So I think I will be going with this one. So my mold here is a matte mold. It's not shiny. So I am trying something different. Let's see how it turns out. So now I am happy with my insert. I will be placing it inside the mold. I will be pressing it so that it don't move when I pour the resin in. And for this purpose I mixed a low viscosity resin. Reason being is that it's a very runny liquid, liquidy resin so it has less bubbles and with the drizzy it's very useful. So slowly now I am adding the resin into the mold. Making sure to cover all the drizzy insert after that i will be using my holographic mat silicone mat it's multi-purpose and i can use it again and again on different projects so i'm using it slowly from the middle and releasing it on the sides so this avoid the bubbles and we leave it, it to cure for one night so this is the second day and let's see as usual the holographic effect is on the back now remove it from the mold demolding it I got overspill but it's fine we can remove it as, as the reason it is still soft. So it's all out now but I got some resin on the mold, drizzy mold but that's not a problem. We will fix it as well and I will show you how I do it. By using a heat gun onto the spot. Simply use the heat on the area and the resin will get soft and you can easily remove the mold so I'm finding my tool and you can see it really pulls easily and I will be removing it
So here the drizzy is all out and we got a lovely drizzy effect into the mold. Uh, sorry, into the resin trinket dish. And I really like it. Rest of the mold is really matte but the drizzy part is shiny so it's really a contrast. So what I'm doing here is I am taking this liquid gold and I will be doing the edges with this gold. So now the gold is all done and I think it's looking lovely and now I'm adding this crystal that I made from resin and I usually may make these when I have leftover resin I pour them into my resin mold into my crystal mold molds that I made myself and those of you that watch me they know that I make these molds in my videos so here I just poured it uh, putting it and arranging it as it looks lovely And here it's all done it's the finished piece and I hope you like it and in the Sun the hollow is showing itself it's really pretty in person but I but very difficult to capture in camera so I hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments And also please do like subscribe and share and I will be making many more videos and definitely some new videos are coming I am working on them for now take care bye bye